Hello. Yes, can all of you can hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, welcome you all again uh, after number of days. And uh, last time we have started the topic that is the engineering economic decisions. And uh, last time we have discussed its definition and. Uh, we have discussed why the engineering economic decisions are so important. What is the role of engineer in the engineering economic decisions? And also I have shared the one success story uh, uh, of the one particular Honda company uh, where we have discussed how, how much important is the role of uh, engineer uh, in making the various kind of economic decisions in the industry or the company. Okay. Now, uh, so now we have to see the typical actual engineering economic decision, this kind of decisions uh, that has to be taken in the different industry, actual decisions. Okay. So that today we are starting, uh, today we'll discuss the one important kind of decisions, uh, which is related with the engineering economics. Okay. And uh, next uh, we'll discuss in the uh, next lectures. So uh, this term already last time also we have discussed uh, what exactly mean by the engineering economic decisions. This is nothing but the all the kind of investment decisions uh, related to the engineering projects that that is being made by the engineers. That is uh, called as the engineering economic decisions. Investment decisions in the sense what? What do you mean by the investment decisions? Yes. Investment decisions means yes. What do you mean by the investment decisions? Okay, related with the any manufacturing industry, which product to produce, how much cost will be required to produce that product, and then how much return you will get uh, after producing that product. So what, whatever the decisions are there, where the, there is the involvement of the transaction and the money, that everything comes under the investment decision related to the engineering projects. And this is the definition of the engineering economic decision, which is referred to the, all the investment decisions related with the engineering projects. So uh, as we have discussed, uh, uh, there are the various kind of engineering economic decisions that need to be uh, made for the particular industry. Because if you want to live uh, and if you want to sustain in this competitive world, in this competitive world of the business, so decision has to be taken. And you know, the business is referred as a risk. Risk is always comes with the business. And main reason behind that is nothing but the because of uh, your decisions. Why I'm saying the risk is always comes because of the decisions. Because uh, decisions can be go right or the decision can be go wrong, understood. So we cannot say in the business uh, that your decision always will be the right decision. It, it could happen, yes or no? Your decision could be wrong, your decision could be right. It can, is, is it possible, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, so that is the reason uh, 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 for the term business, the risk word is always there in the business. We know the risk is always there. So that risk is because of the uh, result of your decision. Whether if your if, if if your decision goes right, then you will be get the huge success. You will get you will get the huge profit in the business. But if it is goes wrong, then uh, it might uh, cause the profit of your business or the profit of your company. That is the reason here I have mentioned the effect of this decision could be a disastrous if not taken properly. If the decision is not taken properly, then its uh, effect will be dangerous and uh, its uh, effect will be the loss of uh, money of your company. 
okay and so but uh, as you know the there are the two points uh, related with the decision it can be right it can be a wrong so by keeping in that things in mind uh, we cannot uh, put the decision on the hold mag asa karun chalel ka ti decision as gaycha nahi asa karun chalel ka डिसिजन तुम्हारा राइट कि रॉन्ग हो एक कुछ तरीके हो डिजन घे चले का बिजनेस डिशीजन घेन हाउ यूर बिजनेस विल रन यू हेव टू स्टॉप युअर बिजनेस अंडरस्टू सो डिजन हेज टू बी टेकन एंड डिशीजन हेज टू बी टेकन बाय कन्सिडरिंग ऑल द लीगल थिंग्स इन द माइंड बाय कन्सिडरिंग ऑल द फैक्टर्स इन द माइंड so decision is nothing but the compulsory thing that has to be made in the businesses because if you don't take the right decision if you don't take the decision at the right time then definitely your business will be in the losses so that is the reason decision has to be made compulsory and uh, it is not like that only the big companies or the big firms only make the decision or the small companies or the small firm don't have to make the decision it is not like that whether your firm or the business is the small or it is the big or whatever it may be middle size uh, then also compulsory the decision has to be made various kind of investment decision has to be taken because everything is depends on your decision understood and now it is the part of the future uh, whether your decision will be right or wrong okay that is a part of your future and uh, so you cannot you cannot afraid uh, what uh, you cannot afraid to the future effect and uh, because of that uh, if you put your decision on hold then it is also dangerous for your business so that is the reason i am saying uh, in the engineering firm big or small it is compulsory for them to face the different kind of investment decision at some time decision has to be taken okay and uh, now in case of the small businesses investment used to be the small <coughs> and uh, if you see for the large businesses large firms investment used to be uh, large okay and accordingly the uh, analysis has to be done analysis of what analysis of expenditure and analysis of the likely the returns expenditure manje kay ki ekada product tumhala produce karnyasathi lagnara kharch that is called as the expenditure ओके एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ द लाइक एनालिसिस ऑफ द रिटर्न्स की तुम्हाला भविष्यामध्ये किती ते तो प्रोडक्ट्स प्रोडक्ट प्रोड्यूस केल्यानंतर हाउ मच रिटर्न यू विल गेट इन द फ्यूचर अंडरस्टूड सो एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑल दिस थिंग हैज टू बी डन एंड देन द डिसीजन हैज टू बी टेकन ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑल दिस अबाउट डिस्कशन दैट वी हैव डन देयर आर द फोर मेजर डिसीजंस फोर इंपॉर्टेंट engineering economic decisions are made within different businesses or the firms how many four now on this topic most of the time question being asked for the 10 marks that is explain the different kind of engineering economic decisions or for the four marks also the question can be asked explain the uh, any one engineering economic decision okay so this is a very important topic from this uh, unit okay different kind of engineering economic decision so out of that uh, the first one that today we are going to discuss okay and that first engineering economic decision is nothing but equipment replacement what equipment replacement what do you mean by the equipment yes what do you mean by the equipment yes what is equipment machinery machinery for the students uh, those things you utilize like computer utilize laptop these are your equipments for uh, household uh, bikes they utilize they are their equipments okay so for the businesses and the manufacturing industries the machine they are utilizing there they are nothing but their equipments understood and uh, if first we consider about our daily lives of the human being so in our life uh, we also usually come across the different kind of decisions now different uh, decisions can be have the uh, two varieties two varieties in the sense 
uh, number of times we used to take the decision related with the buying some something new which which already you don't have and also a decision can be related with the something which already you have but you want to replace it yes or no now consider you don't you don't have the mobile or you don't have the bike or you don't have the car so you will decide before purchasing the new mobile new bike new car yes or no yes sir so in that case you have to make the choice between the new alternatives why here you have to make the choice between the new alternatives because you don't have that right you don't have that if you do, if you don't have that uh, certain things then definitely you have to make the choice between the new alternatives whether you should buy the mo mobile of the samsung or mobile of the nokia or mobile of the uh, other xyz companies so that is the one alternative where you have to make the choices between the new alternatives another thing is what when you have to make the choices between the existing and the new you are getting what i am saying second variety of the decision is what when you have to make the choice between the existing thing which you are having and the new thing that you want have whether you have made this kind of decision suppose you are having some xyz company mobile and now you want to replace it with some new mobile you you must have done that number of times correct yes sir that is the decision made between the existing and the new existing in the sense initially suppose you have the mobile of the samsung okay and you are using that mobile from last 5 years now you want to change it so you want to change it with the mobile of the redmi that is nothing but the second variety of the decision that is the choice made between the existing asset and the new asset or the choice made between the existing equipment and the new equipment understood so that is the point i am trying to clear you there are the two important kind of uh, variety of the decision Uh, in which the human being uh, come across and one is that one of that is nothing but the decision made between the new alternatives and the decision made between the existing and the new understood now so for the engineering economists or the the engineer who are working in the company they also have to take this kind of difficult kind of decisions likewise i have i have said here engineering economist also you have to uh, made uh, also have this kind of dilemma dilemma in the sense dilemma engineering economics to have the dilemma dilemma in the sense difficult choice okay meaning of the dilemma is what difficult choice also uh, we, you must have experienced these things also ki suppose uh, uh, you might be you might be liking the mobiles of two different companies uh, redmi as well as the oppo okay now you are liking the mobile of both of both of these companies but you cannot purchase the both of the mobiles you have to purchase one of these then this is nothing but the difficult choice for you yes or no similarly the engineering economists also have to face the these different kind of dilemma these different kind of difficult choices while making the decision now in case of the industries or the businesses the particular businesses or the firm they have to make the choices between the existing machinery which is available or whether also they have to think on whether they should replace the machinery now or whether they should wait for the particular machine age is over means what suppose there is a one manufacturing industry and in that manufacturing industry they are utilizing some uh, what you can say the printing machine they are utilizing the printing machine now this printing machine is having the life of how much 15 years how much 15 years but already this manufacturing industry has utilized this printing machine 
for 12 years how many years 12 years for 12 years they have utilized this printing machine now whether whether to replace this machine now or whether to wait for the 15 years is this the difficult kind of decision yes or no printing machine total life is how many years 15 years 15 years, 15 years. how many years company has utilized it 12 years still how many years are remaining 3 three years still company can think on to replace this machine no no why no and if anybody want to say yes then why yes why no first tell me why no yes because you your your logic is what 3 years still remaining correct yes. that is your logic to say no correct yes but as you can see this machine life is 15 years and it is being already utilized for the 12 years do you think the same kind of performance is being getting from this machine just like the new machine after 12 years is it possible no 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 do you think its maintenance is same as the maintenance of that machine after one year jar ya printing machine la ek varsha nantar jo jo maintenance kharcha yet asel tevdas maintenance kharcha 12 varsha nantar sudha yil asu tumhala vatta ka बारा वर्ष नेंटेनस खर्च हा डेफिनेटली जास्त यस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस टू रीजन कैन कंपनी थिंक अबाउट द रिप्लेसिंग दैट मशीन यस दैट इज आई एम सींग सो दैट इज आई एम सींग मेकिंग द चॉइसेस ऑफ रिप्लेसमेंट इज द डायलेमा गॉट द पॉइंट मेकिंग द replacement of machine that is replacement for the existing machine with the new machine is considered as a dilemma for the engineering economist is considered as a dilemma in the sense it is considered as a difficult choice is it the difficult choice yes or no yes is it the difficult choice i got this uh, the, uh, for our example this example that i told you ki this machine having the life of the 15 years but 12 years already passed and because of different kind of reasons you can say uh, it can be replaced and there is also another side it should not be replaced what can be the uh, what can be the reasons for should not be replaced now we have discussed the reasons for it should be replaced correct now what can be the reasons for it should not be replaced do you got the reasons for why it should be replaced correct yes sir now yes, tell sir. me tell me the reasons why it should not be replaced yes its performance its performance ata 12 varsha nantar tyacha performance kami honar ache there is no doubt in that okay pan jar ti hi ji company ahe hi ji ek xyz manufacturing company ahe barobar tyancha kade if that company is not having is if that particular xyz company manufacturing company if there if the number of customer orders they are getting if that customer orders are not so large or the huge or more then is there any need to replace that machine no no that can be the one reason yes or no that company yes, kade yanare orders jar kami astil tar 
जो आता परफॉर्मन्स ही मशीन देते त्याच परफॉर्मन्स ने ते कंपनी चालू शकते एम आय राईट येस सर सो दॅट कॅन बी द रिझन फॉर रिझन दॅट दिस मशीन शुड नॉट बी रिप्लेस आफ्टर द ट्वेल्व्ह इयर्स म्हणजेच काय वॉट आय एम ट्राईंग टू से देर आर द सर्टन रिझन फॉर द रिप्लेसमेंट अँड देर आर द सर्टन रिझन फॉर मशीन शुड नॉट बी गेट रिप्लेस यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉईंट येस सर so that is the reason i am saying making the choice whether to replace or whether to not replace is considered to be the very difficult choice for the engineering economist got this point yes sir yeah and so from the discussion that we have done here i have made the simple definition of the replacement because our first engineering economy decision is what equipment replacement so how you can define the replacement so replacement is simply is nothing but replacing the some existing commodity or asset with something similar but better equipped to serve the purpose what do you mean by it yes can anybody elaborate this definition replacing some existing commodity or asset commodity is another word for the asset so definition says what replacement is replacing some existing commodity or asset with something similar but better equip but better equip to serve the purpose what do you mean by this meaning of this i have mentioned in the next statement replacement is broad concept of engineering economics related with what selection of asset or selection of equipment which is new but similar to the existing asset which is to be replaced manjes kay just like uh, i told you the example of printing machine which you have purchased 15 years back okay and now you want to replace that now reason for the replacement can be the different that we will discuss but we are discussing here the definition of replacement so machine that you have purchased 15 years before now that machine nowadays after 15 years its performance must be less as compare with the performance of that printing machine as a new machine yes or no yes sir सो रिप्लेसमेंट इज वॉट की आपल्याला हीच मशीन तुम्ही काय करणार परचेस करणार जी तुम्ही पंधरा वर्षापूर्वी मशीन परचेस केली होती तीच मशीन तुम्ही काय करणार परचेस करणार पण ही मशीन तुम्ही जी परचेस करणार आहे दॅट विल बी द न्यू मशीन गेटिंग दॅट विल बी वॉट न्यू मशीन गेटिंग सो दॅट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द रिप्लेसमेंट इज रिप्लेसिंग सम एक्झिस्टिंग कमोडिटी असेल तुमच्याकडे एक्झिस्टिंग कुठलं होतं हे प्रिंटिंग मशीन होतं विथ समथिंग सिमिलर की तेच तुम्ही काय केलं आफ्टर फिफ्टीन इयर्स यू परचेस द सेम न्यू मशीन अंडरस्टूड नाव टेल मी द परफॉर्मन्स ऑफ दिस न्यू मशीन विल डेफिनेटली मोर दॅन दिस पर दिस मशीन एक्झिस्टिंग मशीन डेफिनेटली द परफॉर्मन्स ऑफ द न्यू मशीन विल बी मोर ऍज कम्पेअर विथ द एक्झिस्टिंग मशीन यू कॅन टेक द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ बाईक दॅट इज अ बुलेट now bullet by the bullet bike you have purchased 10 years back is it possible that bullet bike will give the same performance today no no it will affect on its average etc etc so you, what you replacement is nothing but the bike that you have purchased 10 years back for that bike you will purchase the new bike okay for that replacing that 10 years bike with some new bike is nothing but the referred as a replacement the same thing i have replacement is a broad concept of engineering economics related with selection of asset which is new but similar to the existing asset which is to be replaced the new asset not only to replace the existing one but also outdo its performance so definitely the new thing that you have purchased that that new asset that new equipment definitely give you the more performance as compared to your existing asset understood 
similarly you can take the example of uh, mobiles also okay or you can take better you can take the example of uh, maruti suzuki car uh, uh, that uh, alto ata 10 varsha purvi ji alto car tumhi getli asel tichi performance as same asu shakto ka no नो तर मग ती ती 10 वर्षापूर्वीची काय करणार तुम्ही विकणार आणि त्याची जागी न्यू घेणार त्यालाच काय म्हणायचं रिप्लेसमेंट गॉट द पॉइंट यस सर डेफिनेटली सो हियर अनदर डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिप्लेसमेंट आई हैव मेंशन रिप्लेसमेंट इज द सिलेक्शन बिटवीन एक्झिस्टिंग असेट नाउ एक्झिस्टिंग असेट इज कॉल्ड एज द डिफेंडर कीप कीप दिस वर्ड इन योर माइंड what existing asset is called as a defender so replacement is selection between the existing asset that is called as a defender and the asset set to replace it called as a challenger june 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 equipment june equipment la replace karna sathi je tumhi navin equipment ghyal tala kay manaycha challenger and je tumcha juna machine ahe je tumcha juna equipment ahe tala kay manaycha defender okay this words we are going to require in the subsequent part of the study okay existing asset la kay mannar defender and je new asset tumhi purchase karnar hai replace karayla existing tala kay manaycha apan challenger got these two words yes sir understood for example jar tumhi 10 varsha purvi tumcha kade jar maruti alto car asel ata tumhi ti maruti alto car 2020 la new alto car ni replace kele तर ही जी दहा वर्षापूर्वी तुम्ही घेतलेली आहे तिला काय म्हणणार तुम्ही डिफेंडर डिफेंडर आणि ही जी आता टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ला घेतली तिला काय म्हणणार आपण चॅलेंजर ह्या कारचा कुठल्या कारचा परफॉर्मन्स जास्त असेल नावडेज टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी चॅलेंजर परफॉर्मन्स विल बी मोर सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ वॉट यू मीन बाय द रिप्लेसमेंट सो जस्ट लाईक द decision related to the replacement we used to take in our real life okay in your house in your home in your college etc it's a recruitment that we are utilize here colleges home etc in the similar way in the businesses and in the manufacturing companies they also have to take the decision related with the replacement and their decisions mainly related with the machinery this thing you should keep in mind understood this much yes sir now come to the main point the what are what can be the different reasons what can be the different reasons for the replacement okay now in that first important reason is the obsolescence or obsolescence now this obsolescence word is taken from the word absolute not the absolute absolute what do you mean by the absolute how many of you have watched the tv as a crt monitor yes how many of you have seen the crt monitor tv or how many of you have seen the crt monitor of computer disk uh, computer yes yes sir crt display bagitla ka nahi tumhi computer ata aaple je kade aaple kade je monitor hai computer je kutle hai lcd lcd kiwa led hmm is crt display bagitla ka tumhi computer monitor crt display हो सर मग ते असे पाठी मागत त्यांना एक बेस असा करा हा जर तुम्ही इफ यू आर नॉट इफ यू आर नॉट सीन यू कॅन सर्च इट ऑन द इंटरनेट अँड यू कॅन सी इफ इट इज पॉसिबल लेट मी शो यू ट्यूब वॉल टीव्ही किंवा जुने ते बीपीएल चे वगैरे टीव्ही बघितले असतील तुम्ही बघितले ते तरी ते तरी बघितले का yes sir okay so that was that being considered yes, as a cathode cathode ray, cathode ray tube tv or the cathode ray uh, tube display 
you must have seen the lcd tv also correct yes sir and you must yes, now sir. now most of in you in most of uh, most of the peoples now are having the led tvs correct yes sir asa ka jala ki crt display madhe aplyala disat navta ka ka lcd display madhe aplyala disat navta ka why this has happened why we move from crt display to the lcd display and from lcd display to the led display why this has happened light consumption light consumption okay then azuk space jasta lagaycha sir tyala space okay ani lcd peksha led la jasta clarity rahte clarity बरोबर पण सीआरटी वर्किंग ऑर्डर मध्ये असताना सुद्धा आपण जो रिप्लेस केला येस ऑर नो सीआरटी डिस्प्ले वॉज इन द वर्किंग ऑर्डर स्टील वी हॅव रिप्लेस इट एलसीडी इज इन द एलसीडी वॉज ऑल्सो इन द वर्किंग ऑर्डर स्टील वी हॅव रिप्लेस इट वॉट वॉज द रिझन बिहाइंड रिप्लेसमेंट द रिझन बिहाइंड रिप्लेसमेंट वॉज नथिंग बट the equipment which is available we they this new equipments were having the more advantage as compared with the existing asset or as compared with the existing equipment getting why we have come why we have done this kind of replacement when the existing asset is having or is giving you the less advantage as compared with the new asset in that case we perform the replacement understood and you can see another reason is nothing but decrease in the popularity of the existing asset and the popularity popular popularity is get decided on which factor if you get the great uh, great uh, good clarity if you get the good voice quality then definitely the popularity of that asset will increase or the decrease yes if some equipment for example now why we have moved to the led tv because its clarity is more as compared with the lcd tv its voice quality is more as compared with the lcd tv as compared with the crt that's why we have come to this point yes or no yes yes sir so definitely the popularity of led tv has increased and that is the reason you have, you have decided to replace the your existing lcd with the led tv now same thing can be also happen in case of the manufacturing industry machines yes or no jar tumcha kade printing machine asel tar he printing machine working order madhe ahe barobar but this you have purchased before the 10 years but the printing machine which is available nowadays in 2020 that printing machine is having the more popularity why it is having the more popularity its output might be the more as compared with the this machine yes or no technology which is being utilized in the machine of 2020 it might be a advanced technology as compared with the this machine yes sir and because of that the decision is taken to replace the existing asset with the new asset understood and that this this all the things that i am explain you that reason is called as what obsolescence obsolescence the word which is taken from the obsolete that i told you ki jar tumche ekada machine outdated jhalela working order madhe ahe but it it has got outdated you are got you are getting what i am saying your machine is yes, in the working order but it is outdated in that case that can also become the one of the reason for the replacement got the first reason yes, so it is the state of being which occur when an asset is no longer wanted even though it may still in the working order obsolescence frequently occurs because the replacement has become available that has more advantage than an 
existing asset so typically obsolescence is preceded by the gradual decrease in the popularity so changes in the technology cause a major change in the market demand for the older asset जर एखाद इक्विपमेंट की जर मार्केट डिमांड कमी जाट किमेंट कुछ परचेस करेल का संगा माला एखादी वस्तु वर्किंग मध्य आउटडेटेड कैन यू गिव मी योर एक्साम्पल जस्ट लाइक आई टोल्ड यू द एक्साम्पल ऑफ दैट प्रिंटिंग मशीन Okay, I have given you here the example of this TV, like that. Can you give me the example? Computers. Computer. Tum sa mobile. Paro varna. Ata maya kade. I have I have the mobile which I have purchased in the 2013. Two thousand twelve thirteen. That mobile was of a company Samsung. Very good. That mobile was very good. Still, that mobile is in the good working condition. पण त्याच्यामध्ये अँड्रॉइड नव्हतं दॅट वॉज नॉट सपोर्टिंग द अँड्रॉइड देन व्हॉट शुड आय डू रिप्लेस इट आता मला ते रिप्लेस करावंच लागेल बिकॉज बिकॉज द मोबाईल विच आर अवेलेबल टुडे ऑफ द सेम कंपनी आर मोर ऍडव्हान्टेजियस दॅन माय दॅन माय एक्झिस्टिंग मोबाईल येस ऑर नो Yes. Sir. So that is the reason obsolescence. Maza jo 2012-13 cha jo mobile jo mobile hai to kay zala ta outdated zala. Yes or no? It is still in the working sir, order. Sir. Working order. But the technology which was utilizing in that mobile is old one. It is not supporting the new technology. Okay, new operating system. Because of that, I have to take the decision of replacement. And when you take the decision of replacement because of because of the outdation of particular asset or the equipment because of the decrease in the popularity of that equipment definitely the, if the equipment become outdated its popularity will increase or the decrease decrease definitely decrease if the popularity will get decrease its market demand will increase or the decrease 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 and so there is a no option to replace uh, there is a no option other than to replace that particular asset or the equipment now same thing can be happen in the different machinery which is utilizing the business companies or the manufacturing industry understood 20 varsha pasun jar te ekada machine use karat astil and getting that still that machine is still in the working order but technology which we are utilizing that machine is old one as compared with the technology which is available nowadays then that old machine is considered to be the obsolete obsolete as compared with the new machine and that that obsolescence for that outdation become the one of the reason for the replacement understood the first reason yes sir okay yes. second important is the depletion second important reason is the depletion okay now depletion is refer to the gradual loss in the market value of asset due to its consumption or the exhaustion what gradual loss in the market value of an asset due to its consumption or the exhaustion ata consider kara uh, we have to imagine it or uh, you can see the you must have uh, heard about uh, oil well Okay, oil wells means what? Oil well means. Oil achieved. Ha, apne desham madhe ayat ka. Khub kamir. Nai. Khub kamir. Maje nai mande tere chal. पण आपल्या यू कॅन सी अवर कंट्री इज हॅव्हिंग द मायनिंग वेल्स मायनिंग वेल म्हणजे खनिज वगैरे सापडतात अशा याच्यामध्ये ते बरोबर ना खनिज संपत्ती करेक्ट आता ही जी आपण सपोज यू टेक द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ दिस ऑइल वेल पेट्रोल म्हणा किंवा डिझेल म्हणा तर याच्यामध्ये जे ऑइल आहे 
ते कधी तरी संपणार आहे संपेल की नाही संपणार आहे ना कधी तरी दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज अ एक्झॉशन और फुल कन्झम्शन दॅट इज रिफर्ड एज अ डिप्लिशन अंडरस्टू सो हे राय मेन्शन द टर्म डिप्लिशन इज मोस्टली यूज इन द मायनिंग और ऑइल एक्स्ट्रॅक्शन जर तुम्ही एखाद्या खोदकाम करून जर तुम्ही खनिज इफ यू आर टेकिंग द माइन्स आउट ऑफ सम वेल तर ते माइन्स जे तुम्ही जे खनिज ह्या याच्यामधून काढणार आहे ते कधी तरी संपणार आहे येस ऑर नो ह्या विहिरी मधून जे ऑइल काढणार आहे ते कधी तरी संपणार आहे ते संपल्यानंतर काय करावं लागेल तुम्हाला दुसरी काय दुसरीकडे हे करावं लागेल ना यू नीड टू फाइंड द अनदर वेल येस ऑर नो येस so that is so this this uh, this is slightly different from the other okay and this but so when you are finding other well that is also the consider as a replacement am i right after finishing the oil from this well you have to find the another well correct because you are running the business you have to carry on yes. so when you are finding the new one that is also considered as a replacement okay and this reason for the replacement is called as what depletion so depletion can be considered as a complete a consumption or complete exhaustion so when your asset is finished completely or uh, when you are uh, what you can say commodity get finished completely then you have to find the new source for that understood and that is called as the another reason for the replacement which is referred as or the depletion okay same thing i have mentioned here it refer to the gradual loss in the market value of asset due to its complete consumption or the exhaustion now depletion is the term specifically utilized uh, for the asset related with the mining or the asset related with the oils so not like the other asset the owner of the asset uses the asset till the till it get exhaust completely okay so one on complete uh, on complete finish of this particular suppose well example of oil well i tell you so on complete finish of this he have to move on and he have to find the another one so that is considered as also the replacement and uh, reason for this is is called as the depletion okay when something is get finished completely something in the sense uh, specifically when uh, mines from the mining get completely finished then you have to uh, search for the other mines or oil from the particular well get completely exhausted consumed then you have to find the another well that is called as the another reason for the replacement which is come under the category of the depletion understood the depletion yes sir and the last one that is the uh, also the important one that is the deterioration third reason for the replacement deterioration this is the word form from the deter deterioration so it is here i have mentioned deterioration it is the loss in the value of asset this is important due to the aging loss in the value of asset due to the aging can you give me the example of this deterioration जस्ट लाईक दिस युनिवर्स सो विकायला काढली आपण तर त्याच्यामध्ये लॉस होतो ना सर नाही रीड रीड इट केअरफुली यू आर यू आर नॉट रीड इट केअरफुली इट इज लॉस इन द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ असेट ड्यू टू इट्स एजिंग वस्तू जुनी झाली त्याच्यामुळे मग त्याच्या व्हॅल्यू मध्ये त्याची एक्झॅक्टली दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज द डिटरिओरेशन की रिडक्शन इन द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ असेट ड्यू टू इट्स एजी आता मशीन जाऊ द्या माणसाचं वय जरी वाढलं तर त्याची परफॉर्मन्स कमी होतो इट्स वर्किंग अॅबिलिटी गेट डिक्रीज येस ऑर नो क 
correct or not human being ability yes, to sir. work also get decrease when its age get increase yes or no is it happening is it is it correct or not yes sir so correct. same thing is there for the machinery also jar tumhi 10 varsha purvi machine getla asel tar tyacha aaj cha performance ha navin machine sarkha asnare kan sanga mala nahi tyacha performance kay hot janare kami kami hot janare you are getting ani tyachi maintenance cost kashi hot janare increase hot jail ka decrease hot jail increase definitely its performance will go on decreasing and its maintenance cost will go on increasing Be why because of because that machine is getting old day by day you are getting my point that machine is getting old day by day so machinery which once new deteriorates with the passage of time the machine which was new before 10 years now that machine will get old day by day that will get deteriorate day by day with the passage of time and because of that what will happen the machine loses its ability to function as per the new machine as compare with the new machine and this make it financially unviable financially unviable manje kay financially unviable means त्याच्यावरचा जो मेंटेनन्स कॉस्ट काय होतो वाढत जातो जर मेंटेनन्स कॉस्ट वाढत गेला तर प्रॉफिट इन्क्रीज होईल का डिक्रीज होईल सांगा मला त्या मशीन मशीन मधून मशीन मधून जे तुम्ही प्रोडक्ट प्रोड्यूस करणार आहे त्याच्यातून जो प्रॉफिट तुम्हाला मिळणार आहे बरोबर पण मशीनरीचा मेंटेनन्स कॉस्ट सुद्धा जर वाढत असेल तर प्रॉफिट डेफिनेटली काय होणार आहे कमी होत जाणार आहे अंडरस्टूड अँड दॅट इज द रिझन द मशीन हिअर आय हॅव सेड मशीन लुजेस इट्स अॅबिलिटी टू फंक्शन as per the as compared with the new machine and this make it financially unviable financially unviable manje kay ki te jase machine chi life kami wadat jate tase tyachi maintenance cost wadat jate and because of that te kay it becomes uh, difficult okay it become difficult to gain more gain more more profit from that machine understood so same thing i have mentioned also the expenditure incur on its maintenance also increase maintenance cost get increased hence to maintain its position in the market the firm has to replace the machine with new one ata jar he new machine initially 1000 product produce karat asel per hour kiti 1000 produce 1000 product per hour but after 10 years it is just producing producing the 20 20 products per hour ani demand sudha kay hai demand sudha kami zalel nahi दहा वर्षापूर्वी जेवढी डिमांड होती त्या कंपनीकडे त्या प्रोडक्टची सेम डिमांड इज हिअर देन व्हॉट शुड बी डन टेल मी दहा वर्षापूर्वी हे मशीनची कॅपॅसिटी किती होती वन वन थाउजंड प्रोडक्ट पर आवर आफ्टर टेन इयर्स इट्स कॅपॅसिटी इज हाऊ मच जस्ट ट्वेंटी और लेट इट बी एट टू हंड्रेड it is how much 200 product per hour but what was the demand before the 10 years of certain product in the market the same demand is there today also of that product then what kind of decision company have to has to take what decision company has to take yes whether company should carry on with the same equipment which they have purchased before the 10 years yes or no, no you got sir. you got the situation that i am telling you here repeat again oh okay okay let let me repeat it again okay there is a one company that company has purchased one machine 10 years before manje 2010 mana barobar 2010 la tene ek machine purchase keli kai tari ek ti product produce karta hai 
तर टू थाउजंड टेन ला त्या मशीन ची कॅपॅसिटी किती होती वन थाउजंड प्रोडक्ट पर आवर हाऊ मेनी प्रोडक्ट वन थाउजंड प्रोडक्ट पर आवर अँड देर ऑज अ डिमांड ऑफ दॅट प्रोडक्ट इन द मार्केट ह्यूज डिमांड ऑफ दॅट प्रोडक्ट इन द मार्केट नाव इन दॅट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी that machine capacity now after the 10 years whether that machine will able to produce the same number of product in that tell me that thing first sir yes or no no sir no mag apan manu ki te machine ata suppose 200 products per hour produce karta hai kiti 200 but the kind of demand was there in the 2010 of the product same demand of product is there in the 2020 also then what decision yes. company has to take company should have to replace the equipment company should have to replace the equipment jar company ne equipment replace kele nahi tar kay parinam hotel tachi what will be the effect if the company will not take the decision to replace company sa loss is कंपनीचा लॉस होईल कंपनीची जी मार्केट मध्ये पोझिशन आहे ती कमी होईल अंडरस्टूड सो दॅट इज द थर्ड रिझन फॉर द रिप्लेसमेंट दॅट इज द डिटरिओरेशन अँड डिटरिओरेशन इज नथिंग बट वॉट पर्टिक्युलर असेट परफॉर्मन्स गेट डिक्रीज वेन इट्स एज गेट इन्क्रीज getting so oh. now tell me the difference between obsolescence and the deterioration sir so, obsolescence madhe uh, aapla product uh, outdated zalela asto product nahi equipment or the asset e- equipment ha <laughs> outdated manje <laughs> त्याच्यामधली टेक्नॉलॉजी चेंज झालेली असेल बरोबर मीन्स इन्व्हेन्शन ओल्ड झालेलं असत करेक्ट करेक्ट हा डिटेरिओरिएशन मध्ये डिटेरिओरिएशन मध्ये डिटेरिओरिएशन मध्ये जस जसे ती वस्तू जुनी होत जाते मशीन जसं जुनं होत जाईल तसं त्याची काय म्हणतो आपण परफॉर्मन्स कमी होत जाईल बरोबर बट या हे जे दोन हजार दहा ला तुम्ही मशीन घेतलं याच्यामध्ये जी टेक्नॉलॉजी आहे सेम टेक्नॉलॉजी राहू शकते टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी ला सुद्धा तरी सुद्धा तुम्हाला रिप्लेसमेंट करावं लागेल की नाही सांगा मला टेक्नॉलॉजी टेक्नॉलॉजी चेंज झाल्यामुळे रिप्लेसमेंट करावं लागते आणि डिटेरिओरिएशन मध्ये डिटेरिओरिएशन मध्ये काय टेक्नॉलॉजी जरी सेम राहिली पण मशीनची लाईफ जर जर मशीन खूप जुनं झालं तर काय करावं लागेल ते आपल्याला रिप्लेसमेंट करावं लागेल गॉट द पॉइंट so these are the three main reasons okay uh, 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 in the first uh, engineering economic decisions that is the equipment replacement okay so so separate question might be asked write a note on equipment replacement uh, engineering economic decision also so in that case you have to mention all these things so uh, this is just a summary of the things i have written here industrial asset may be replaced because of their deteriorating performance obsolescence and the depletion these are the reasons so it is uh, evident that from all about reasons it make it impossible for a set to deliver the desired output in terms of their quality quantity and in all about the cases it would be prudent prudent in the sense it is the wise decision wise in the sense correct decision to replace the asset with the new decision in in short if your existing asset if your existing equipment is not giving you the up to date performance if it is not giving you the quality performance if it is not generating the amount of quantity that you want then it is correct to take the decision to replace your existing asset or existing equipment with the 
new equipment and that is nothing but our first engineering equipment decisions that is being take that is being taken by the different economists and that is being taken by the different engineers as a part of the engineering economy decision next we will discuss in the next lecture all of you got the point yes sir okay that's it from the today's lecture thank you all of you sir tumhi mcq kasle pathavle lete so that is the combined mcq that is not related with any specific unit okay uh, means our first section first unit second unit and third unit kai question first cha related asti second cha asti third just as a practice i have uh, provided you sir thank you sir okay uh, it is not according to the specific unit okay that will pro that i will provide you okay when the exam will be get declared because we don't have okay, because uh, today uh, still we don't have any kind of uh, information whether your exam will be get conducted uh, as a mcq or as a theoretical so there is no point in giving you the mcq today only yes or no correct so yes sir. okay so, so we have to wait until we get the notification because because uh, today only we have got the notification from the university to conduct the exam of uh, backlog of third year second year and first year for your kind knowledge if you are having any backlog their exams will going to be conduct from the 3rd of december you are getting what i am yes. saying रेगुलर एक्साम बैकलॉग ऐसी अगोदर क्लियर बैकलॉग ऐसी फिर बीई ऐसी बैकलॉग होते आता जे बीई मुल पास आउट जाए जे का बैकलॉग आती एक्जाम आता तुम्हारे लक्ष आता जे बीई मुल पास आउट जाए जे बैकलॉग होते ती एक्म कम्प्लीट यू आर गेटिंग तुम्हे कु तुमचे जर तुमचे फर्स्ट इयर चे बॅकलॉग असतील ना बरोबर तुम्ही आता थर्ड इयरला आहे बरोबर यू आर गेटिंग तुम्ही थर्ड इयरला आहे तुमचे सेकंड इयरचे बॅकलॉग असू शकता आहेत ना बॅकलॉग तुमचे सेकंड इयरचे बॅकलॉग असतील काहींचे सेकंड इयर सर सेकंड इयर सेकंड इयरचे असतील काहींचे फर्स्ट इयरचे पण असू शकतात बरोबर त्याची एक्झाम झाली का नाही हा मग ती एक्झाम अगोदर होईल आणि नंतर तुमचं रेग्युलर होईल यू आर गेटिंग व्हॉट आय सी तर म्हणजे आता जी एक्झाम होणार ती फक्त बॅकलॉगचीच होणार आहे हा आता जी म्हणजे आता नवीन तुमच्या रेग्युलर एक्झामचं नोटिफिकेशन आणखीन आलेलं नाही आता बॅकलॉग अगोदर कम्प्लीट होतील आणि मग रेग्युलरची एक्झाम चालू होतील करेक्ट ओके सर थँक्यू त्याच्यामुळे तुम्हाला एमसीक्यू आता प्रोवाइड करून काही उपयोग नाही म्हणजे जर मी आता एमसीक्यू दिले आणि थेरॉटिकल आता यू कॅन सी दॅन्डेमिक सिच्युएशन इज गेटिंग डिक्रीज येस सो इफ द युनिव्हर्सिटी विल टेक द डिसिजन टू टेक द एक्झाम थेरॉटिकली फिजिकली कॉलिंग द स्टुडंट इन द कॉलेज देन देर इज अ नो युटिलायझेशन ऑफ दॅट एमसीक्यू अकॅडमिक चालू आहे त्याच फायनल झालेलं नाही तुम्ही कुठं ऐकलं का त्याच फायनल झालंय नाही करेक्ट सो युअर प्रिपरेशन शुड बी रेग्युलर अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर रेग्युलर अकॅडमिक की जसं तुम्ही थेरॉटिकल देतो तर तुमचं प्रिपरेशन तसंच असलं पाहिजे सो दॅट इज द रिझन आय एम गिव्हिंग द असाइनमेंट ओके ओके सर एनी एनी डाउट रिलेटेड विथ द एक्झाम स्टील काही मुलांचं कन्फ्युजन असं आहे की त्यांचे जे बॅकलॉग आहे ते सुद्धा त्यांना पास केलेलं आहे असं नाहीये ज्या मुलांचे बॅकलॉग आहे त्यांची एक्झाम होणार आहे 
तुमचे जे फ्रेंड्स परत एग्जाम फॉर्म वगैरे भरण्याची गरज नाही आहे ना नाही नाही तुम्ही भरलेत ना ऑलरेडी हो सर तुम्ही भरलेत ते एग्जाम फॉर्मची काय गरज नाही परत तुमचे जे मित्र असतील त्यांना पण सांगा की बॅकलॉगचा एग्जाम होणार आहे तुम्हाला लवकरच त्याचं नोटिफिकेशन आणि डेट वाईज टाइम टेबल यू विल गेट दॅट ओके ओके सर ओके थँक्यू वेलकम सर थँक्यू